today we are gonna cook some delicious bacalao. I know that I haven't do a cooking video in so long and I decided to make this video today. And what is bacalao probably you're asking and I'm sure that you have seen this in the supermarket, especially here in Dominican Republic. This is that's what we call bacalao. This is codfish. This one is with the bone. And a lot of times you will see with boneless that they keep in the refrigerator, but here you will see that they keep it outside, not in the refrigerator. And they can keep it because it can stay long like that because it's a very salty fish. And I, I know that you have seen it before, you don't know what to do with it, so I'm gonna show you what to do uh, today with this fish. And if you are like my husband, you will look at it because I have offered to talk to him about it before. He Every time that I talk, I, I talk to him about it, he was like, mm, I don't like that. I don't want a fish that keep staying out of the, the freezer or something. I said, I said, this is how it's supposed to be. But he didn't believe me until I cook it one day and he loved it. So I want to show you how to cook bacalao today. And how Dominican eat the bacalao. Uh, we, most of the time we eat it with rice, like moro or rice and beans, and also with um, a smashed plantain or yuca. So we eat it as a side uh, dish with different uh, things, not just rice. But this is more common with rice. The video is about the bacalao, but I'm gonna cook a moro with it. So at the end, I'm gonna show you the moro with the bacalao. So let's get started. Eat. What do you need to cook this? It's very, very simple. You just need the bacalao onions, tomatoes, and potatoes. Not everybody cook it the same way. That's the way that we cook it. Or oh, that's the way that my mom showed how to cook it. That's the way we love to eat it, at least here in my house. And sometimes people cook it with egg too. So at the end, they cook some egg, they scramble with the bacalao. But we are not doing egg today. We're just doing bacalao, onions, tomatoes, and potatoes. So let's get started. Okay, first, the first thing that we are gonna do is uh, to rinse out the bacalao because it's a very, very salty fish. And like I said, this one is with bones. You can buy the one that is boneless that you don't have to deal with the bones. But I'm gonna cook it, I'm gonna show you how to take the bones out as soon as boiled. So we're gonna take some of that salt out, we're gonna rinse it out, we're gonna put it to boil. So now we are gonna put our bacalao to boil. So what do I do with these potatoes? Most people put the potatoes to boil with the bacalao and the potatoes absorb some of the salt that the bacalao already have. So at the end when you're cooking the bacalao, you don't need to add salt or anything because the, uh, the fish itself have the salt that you need. But what we do sometimes, some people, I'm not gonna say everybody, is to put like some sazon uh, some of the salsa completo and garlic. That's what I do. It, it, it takes a little bit because most of the salsa take it out now when I rinse it out. And then after it's boiled, I, I also rinse it out again. So it takes, I would say, most of the salsa. Not completely, but most of the salsa. So at the end when you're cooking, you don't need to add any salt. And so we're gonna put our bacalao to boil. And also, I forgot to mention, there are some people that do also locro, the bacalao. So they use this fish to do locro. I know, I know I need a bigger pad. Oh, let me see if I can get a bigger pad because that one seems to be a little, little too small. I forgot that when I do the boneless, I use the small pot because it doesn't have a bones. I just boil it in there. But this one with bones, it seems to be needed more room. So we're gonna leave this to boil for about, we're gonna come and check it about 20 minutes to see if it's ready. So the fish is about to be ready. 
that is pretty much how to take it out and then you cook it with the tomatoes and the onions the potato need a little bit more time sometimes if you see that your fish is already ready you take it out you just leave the potato a little bit more and i know that probably you're saying how much rice are you putting how much water are you put in your rice and all that um, but i just have to say how my mom taught me how to cook it was by my eyes i i don't i don't measure a thing i just i just know how much i need so because i'm not teaching you how you cook rice or more today i'm just gonna use that much i think i need <laughs> well that's the difference to being a chef and in somebody that just know how to cook food and especially how you call it creole food they just do them by eyes they don't they don't measure it they just they just they just do what they do well, I'm not a chef, but I cook a lot. <laughs> yeah, I cook every day, so I cook. <laughs> people cook rice different ways. I know some people like the rice like very, how you cook, it's not tender, but it's like very dry. Some people like the rice a little like wet and mushy. So it's all depending how you like your rice. Like for you to know if your rice is gonna be mushy and no, really, really, really dry is when you put this thing right here and it fell off, you know your rice is gonna be mushy. When you put it over there, either, either you, your um, a spoon is stay up, then you know your rice is gonna be dry. And you're gonna need probably more water at the end to make it better. But right now, my rice is gonna be exactly how I like it. like that uh, you know that your bacala is already ready so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the potato a little bit longer because they need a little bit more time in the middle so I'm gonna take the bacala out that way we can take the bones out most people like the uh, boneless because uh, pretty much when you buy bacalao like this, it is cheaper. The other way is more expensive, but you have a lot of ways. Like you have to take in consideration the bones, and then we're gonna take all the skin. And you can tell this part right here that they, all this is gonna go uh, to the garbage. So that's why most people like to buy it uh, boneless. That way you don't have no waste. Everything that you buy is exactly the amount of bacalao that you won't have to eat. So we're gonna leave these potatoes like about five more minutes to be ready. I'm gonna let this sit over here for a minute until it get cool, they cool off. That way I can start taking the bones and everything else out. rice is ready to be covered raw you see it didn't need any more extra water i knew that with the water that i have with the amount of rice that i put in it will be ready just to cover up and wait until it's cooked um you usually leave the the rice covered for about 15 to 20 minutes to be well done so i usually put a plate or a plastic film to cook better i mean some people just put it the top of the pot but i like to put like a, either a plastic film or either a plate and then I cover it, that will make it cook fast and well. So as if you put the pla plastic, or you cover plastic film or whatever you use, you remember you have to turn your fire uh, low, how you say, low? Yeah, and then leave it, leave it cook for about 20 minutes. I just put them in a regular water because after you take the potatoes out of the uh, water that you was boiling the bacalao, sometimes it still have a lot of salt and you wanna take as much salt of your one that way at the end when it's already you buy and you're cooking it, it's not 
um, you don't have, what do we call it? If then if it is too salty, then you don't have a choice. Buddha eat a salty bacalao. But if you can take as much salt as you can before you cook it, it's better. So we just cut it this way and slice it. So the last thing that we have left to do is to clean our bacalao. It's right here. We're gonna clean it and then you start cooking it. So we take all this, you know, which is the skin of the fish. Which is nothing, that doesn't mean it's bad because when we eat regular fish, we eat the skin of the fish, so it's nothing but when we cook the, bac when we cook the bacalao, we just clean it that way. Yes, you can see it's no bones in this part. So this is good to cook. Like I say again, that's what most people, or a lot of people buy, the bone list. That way you don't have to deal with all this. Yes, the only reason that I have the bone, uh, the one with the bones, because when I went to the store, they didn't have the bone list. And plus, I thought it was a good idea because um, this is a, the most common you will find at the store. And if you want to cook some bacalao, if they don't have the bone list, then you know how to cook the one they have but, So this is my bacalao here. I already took the bones and the skin and everything that I didn't like. So now I'm gonna put some water because it's still, it's still a lot of salt in it. So I'm gonna put more water to rinse it out again and then start. I think it's good enough with salt and then I just have a little salt. And then when you put the tomatoes and the onions, those uh, they just absorb uh, the, some of the salt, so you will be good. So now we're gonna start ready to cook the bacalao. So now we are gonna add some olive oil to cook our veggies. First thing that I'm gonna cook is the tomatoes. I'm gonna add some garlic because I like, a lot of people don't just cook it with the veggies and the bacalao because like I said before, the bacalao already have the salt that you probably need and just people just add the veggies. But me, I like to add a little flavor so I'm gonna put some garlic in. So now I'm gonna add the potatoes. Some people cook, um, Add a tomato paste because they like like uh, they like it a little red. But me, since we already have tomatoes, I give it a little color. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't like to add tomato paste as well. So now I'm gonna add my bacalao, and at the end you can taste. If you think that you can add at the end a little sazon completo, which I like to add, that's why I take as much salt as I can. I add a little sazon completo at the end. If you feel that you bacalao, it is enough uh, with salt, that you will make it salty. If you add some sazon, then don't do it. Now we're gonna leave this cook for a little, well, one to two minutes. Well, our bacalao is pretty much ready. Now it's the time for you to taste your bacalao, and then if you wanna add the the sazon completo, you can add it. Mine, I feel like it can take a little sazon completo, so just I'm gonna add a little. So now everything is ready. Our bacalao is ready. My platano maduro is ready. Moro is ready. So now I'm gonna fix the plate and let's eat. Bacalao y plátano maduro frito. It's ready. So what next to do? Let's eat. And the only thing that this is missing right now, it is some avocado. Mm. Very good. I love me myself personally. I love avocado. I mean, sorry, me personally, I love bacalao. I mean, I like, I eat meat. Yeah, I like meat, but I like more things like fish, vegetables, 
dicen like that. So, some rice or some bacalao, some platano maduro frito, avocado. Mm. I love it. Mm. So now we are gonna sit down and eat. And this is all what happened right now. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also share. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.